In today's video, I want to talk about important aspects of preparation before you texture onto your ceiling or your walls. You probably noticed the wallboard plasterboard has come a little bit loose and it's a little bit bouncy if you should press onto it. You must make this firm first and what I've done here, I've put drywall screws into the plasterboard through the joist. I firmed this area up so there's no bounciness in the ceiling. If the ceiling is porous or i.e. freshly plastered, it's always recommended to put a watered down solution of PVA sealer primer just to take the porosity away as you're going to work it with using drywall compound and you'd want it to dry in too, too quick whilst you're working. Some people they've got a tendency to just fill the cracks in, then prepare the ceiling, seal it, uh, prime it and then texture over it and what will happen then is obviously the cracks are going to come through. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video. It's only a short one. Once you know these three little tips, your preparation will be much better and essential. Thank you for watching. I'm going to use this for the repair. Years I've been using other types of tapes, but this one looks really good. And what I like about it as well is the lip on the edge of the tape is very, very fine, and it shouldn't take much blending or feathering into the existing ceiling. What I like about this as well, the tiny holes there, there's so many of them, and it spades onto the ceiling beautifully. I must admit. As you can see now, I bed it in the tape, and now I'm going to cork over it straight away and feather it in. I've just corked over the whole thing and it looks all nice and blended in and smooth. If you wanted this as a finish, you can let it dry and then you can sand it into the existing ceiling and you've got a fine repair there. You've got no problems with it, you've got no bounciness on the ceiling. It's a very tough thing. When you apply the compound, Apply the compound in the centre of the crack all the way through. And this tool I'm using is actually called a, a corker. I've had mine for years and years and it's great for DIY repairs and jobs around the home. They're available on eBay. I'll put, um, I'll put the name of the product in the link. Apply tape into the centre where the crack was. Embed the tape into the ceiling. Even though I haven't caught this side and embedded over the second attempt, it seems pretty flat already to the ceiling. What I like about this actual tape is because 
It's all firm and flexible and it's solid. Like the fibre tape where on the edges, sometimes the strands come off and you always got the edges pulled with this one. It's all firm and solid. So this is a product I want to talk about. It's called Crack Tape. Um, it is so versatile. It's just simple to use. It's a, a good product for the DIY person as well as the professional drywall practitioner. I've got confident in the repair that it's not going to crack again. So I'll be happy to test this for myself or for my customer and there's not going to be any comebacks. Handy little dispenser box. Easily cut with scissors. Durable. <coughs> Tough. No fuzzing on the edges. There's hardly no edges to sand. And in fact, if you want them to texture your ceiling, you just to leave it for the repair to tape up cracks. This stuff is ideal, straight flex, crack tape. Thank you for watching.